Hi, Mark Lee, Church of Christ. Here we are, day eight of Psalm 91 and our 21-day devotional, day eight. And uh, you're going to enjoy today's. I really think you're going to enjoy today's. Now, we're going to jump in and we're going to have a look at verse six of Psalm 91, verse six of Psalm 91. And, uh, and it reads, Do not dread the disease, or in some versions it'll talk about pestilence, but do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Nor the disaster that strikes at midday. What are your thoughts? What are you thinking? Has this season that we're walking through really turned our faith upside down or are we trusting in him entirely? You know, if, if we fight fears of fatal disease, if we are fighting fears of fatal viruses, then this is a scripture for us to take hold of. It, re it so really is. You know, the third category of evil that God names in this, you know, in this psalm is, is, is pestilence, it's disease. And this is the only evil that he actually names twice. Since God doesn't waste words, I don't think God wastes words, and I won't get into the whole man and woman debate on who wastes the most words every day, because <laughs> that'll get me in trouble when I get home. If God doesn't waste words, then he has to have a, a specific reason that he would repeat this promise. It has to have a specific reason. You know, God knew that the pestilence and the fear that would be running rampant in these days, he knew. He knew back then. You know, the world is, is teeming with fatal epidemics, pandemics, that are hitting people by the thousands. And so God catches our attention by repeating this promise. He repeats the promise. This is how faithful our God is. It's as though God's saying, I said it in verse 3, but just in case you didn't hear me, in case you weren't really sure, just to be sure, I'm going to say it again now in verse 6. You do not have to be afraid of the deadly pestilence, of the deadly disease. This is so contrary to the world in which we live. And, you know, we have to renew our thinking before we can even comprehend the fact that we do not have to be afraid of the sicknesses and the diseases that are epidemic in the world today. You know, our, our inheritance, our inheritance is not limited to what's handed down to us, you know, in our genealogy, through our ancestors, genetically. Our inheritance can be what Jesus provided for us if we believe the word and if we put it to work. You know, the enemy may try to cause sudden surprises to catch us unaware and knock us down. But God's faithful. He is always faithful. He's faithful in his nature. It does not change. His word is true no matter what the circumstances around us look like. I reckon that's a pretty encouraging word for day eight, don't you? You know, Lord, thank you. Thank you that I don't have to be afraid of disease and sickness. I've received your inheritance as my own. I choose to put my trust in your word as I dwell in the secret place. Amen. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless you.